Okay, Jim. In 25 words or less, what's the rule on needing a second ground rod? I've got this. you have to be able to prove that the ground rod has 25 ohms or less resistance on it or you have to install a second ground rod. So you were going to do this 25 times? No chance. No, I was going to do it 24. Because I don't no, want to do it again. Well, I can understand that. Mm -hmm. So what else can you tell me? Well, the second rod has to be at least six feet away from the first rod per code. However, it's actually better for the distance to be the same length as the ground rod. So, if the grounding rods are eight feet long, then the distance between them should be eight feet. So, is length still important even if you're installing multiple rods? Well, sure. Code requires that ground rods have to be at least eight feet long. So, whether you're buying them or installing them or inspecting them, Really, the easiest way to know that a rod meets the code is to look for the listing symbol. Correct. Now, when you see the listing symbol, you know that the rod meets all of the requirements for length, coating thickness, diameter, material, everything. But if you don't see it, you don't know what's down under there. It's pretty easy. Either 25 ohms or less resistance or two listed rods at least six feet apart. Now. I just need to see if I can get my legs apart. I'll see you at the truck. The truck's way over there, though. Right there!